A Force asks, in less than a day, you already doubled that number. How do you feel about that? I must admit that all the sudden attention was very overwhelming at first. Now that the dust has settled a bit, I feel very happy. The official nicely asks, do you duel or deathmatch in Doom? Uh, no, I did a few times and I couldn't get into it. It lacks the balance and tactics something like Quake 3 has. Loft Fives asks, just found your channel and swiftly became interested. Keep it up. Also a question for the Q&A. What inspired you to start doing YouTube? Mostly other YouTubers. Big Mac Davis and Ultima Mantoid for the detailed narrated playthroughs. Bunnacook2012 for the analysis videos. I also just really like showing off my skill and knowledge. Ablationer asks, What are your thoughts on Doom mods and how big names like Brutal Doom seem to have revived the interest for the genre? Would you say they're at least partially responsible for some of the more recent titles that tried to bank on that nostalgia? Strafe, Dusk, Doom 2016, etc. I'm happy that people are finding Doom through Doom mods. Of course, as a purist, I'd like to tell everyone to check out the vanilla experience too, but I can see how that can be difficult after being spoiled with so many gameplay enhancing features. I'd say Brutal Doom definitely influenced Doom 2016, especially when it comes to glory kills, but Duke Nukem Forever and Series M3 did it first. Not sure about Strafe and Dusk since there's always been uh, Doom inspired games, even before Brutal Doom came out. Kuna Skev asks, how does it feel to literally gain another 1000 subs within a day? Pretty surreal, but exciting too. Tabak419 asks, I don't get it, the video is only 18 hours old, how come you celebrate 1000 subscribers when you have more than 2000? By the way, I subscribed a few days ago and I believe you had less than 1000 subs. Love your analytics series, keep up the good work. I don't get it either. YouTube randomly decided to recommend my videos, so I gained an insane amount of traffic. Sexton asks, What is your favorite Doom Watt slash Megawatt? Duplicate question, but it's how revealed too. Peter Lawrence asks, My question is that can you put gameplay of you playing Doom 2 Map 21 over the Q&A video? Thanks. If not, maybe you could play Metal Mission in New Catch instead? Sure, here you go. I will do viewer submitted levels after Hell Review 2. Submit Metal Mission in Nukic and I will play it. Supra107 asks, Are you going to do a video series of Series Sam first slash second encounter? Oh hell yeah. Once I'm done with Quake 1.5 I will. I will beat it on serious difficulty with all the secrets found and no saves. Land Rider asks, Damn dude, how'd you do it? 8.0 I don't know what you mean with 8.0, but I did it by being epic. Noriyaki Kakyoin asks, have you ever created something in Doom Builder? If not, will you try it in the future? I have. The fake Sigil E5M1 map was made by me. Not planning to create any levels anytime soon though. Chicken Oidi asks, what brand of toothpaste do you use? I use Virus to keep my gums nice and healthy. CM asks, have you ever designed maps before? And if so, which are you most proud for? Well, like I said two questions ago, I made the fake E5M1. I guess I'm proud of it. Joe Pro asks, What is your favorite source port? What is your least favorite source port? I assume you mean Doom source port. Favorite is GeoBoom Plus. Least favorite is whatever source port supports those atrocious 3D Doom models. Juan Chol21 asks, What's your favorite demon in Doom? The Edgedang Skeleton. Scratch asks, what's your favorite what? How are you too? Green asks, how about some analysis videos on Doom 2016? If I find anything interesting to talk about, I will. Alright asks, what's your opinion on Mega Man 8-bit deathmatch? I uh, never played it myself, but seen a couple of videos. I like how it retains the Mega Man view and mechanics. It's very well made. QMine12 asks, how do you feel when you've noticed that YouTube's now recommending your content? I feel very happy when hard work pays off. Also very happy to see everyone enjoying my content. Tyrone Jamal asks, butt or boobs? But. I Douglas H asks, doom, but an analysis on its 2.5D rendering. That's on my to-do list. John Arbuckle asks, which demon is the most dummy thick? The cyber demon. 
Jacket T asks, I know you said nothing political, but who is the best Jojo? Rue Broken cannot answer. Xane Myers asks, As someone developing my own game, using GZ Doom, can I request playing my game once it's more complete? I'm not a reviewer or let's player, but if it looks cool, I'll check it out and provide my usual staff commentary. Javulas asks, How do you feel about almost reaching 3k a day after posting this? Happy and excited. Ultima asks, What is your favorite megawatt for the original Doom? And how about for Doom 2? Doom the way it did for Doom 1. Hell Review 2 for Doom 2. Roberto Maru asks, Will you make more of the Doom content that made you blow up, or like speedrun history of Doom? I will definitely make more analysis videos, but I need time for those. I'm not too familiar with Doom speedrunning history, so I don't know. Psychotic Dysfunction asks, What would you like to see in Doom Eternal? I must also mention that I just found out your videos today. I think you have a lot of potential. You just need to get lucky with the... Oops, cut off again. Sorry dude. I assume lucky with YouTube's algorithm? Uh, yeah, it's all about luck, it seems. I'd like to see co-op in Doom Eternal, but I doubt it will be in there. Ja, dit, Chode Hurry asks, Could you do analysis videos or any type of interesting stuff on multiple games eventually? I think your channel is really unique and has potential. If there are games I enjoy playing, I definitely will. The Big H asks, Thoughts on the Doom universe proposed by Marty Stratton and Hugo Martin? Pretty cool. I love optional lore exploration in games. X Mantid asks, Would you rather French kiss a mancubi or pain elemental? I'm glad you ask. I'd happily French kiss a... Benjamin Keckley asks, Hey, just found your channel. Love it! Q, we do a video discussing all of the cultural references to movies, games, shows, songs throughout the Doom franchise. Uh, I don't know. I prefer to cover obscure stuff. Doom's culture references have been discussed since the dawn of YouTube. I'll have to see. Bazi Games asks, What is the best way to play Doom for the classic experience, and how do you play it? Keyboard and mouse, or just the keyboard? Best classic experience is through Crispy Doom or Chocolate Doom. Both look and feel just like classic Doom. I use GeoBoom Plus for its renderer and backwards compatibility, and I play with mouse and keyboard. Monkey Boy asks, Will you ever extend your analytical videos beyond Doom? Perhaps some other id software game? I already did one about Quake 2. I have more plans for both Quake and Quake 2. James Stone asks, I had no idea Doom had an RNG table until I watched your video. What's your favorite aspect or quirk of the From the series? Thanks. My favorite aspect is the synergy weapons and monsters have. Each demon encounter requires different strategies depending on your weapons and ammo, and somehow Doom always makes it feel fair and balanced. Fighting 10 cyberdeems with a pistol only is an exception of course, but you get my point. Drew Fisher asks, what's your favorite Doom clone slash knockoff slash inspired game? Serious Sam, it started off as a Doom clone, but evolved into its own unique type of game. Ultimate Coral asks, favorite MIDI from both Vanilla Doom and Player Made Watts? Vanilla Doom, if you include Doom 2, is message for the Archfile. From Player Made Watts, it's Egypt. No, not Mark II's Egypt, but back to Saturn X Egypt. Defictly asks, why did you start making YouTube videos? I love showing off difficult levels and teaching about obscure game mechanics. Robert Butler asks, what got you into game engine internals? I started off making Quake 2 mods, then started exploring its engine. Limey asks, are you excited for Doom Eternal? Heck yeah, Sonny. Aylin Meravi asks, What do you hope for the most when it comes to Doom Eternal? At minimum the same greatness Doom 2016 has, both more balanced weapons and upgrades, also less arena fights. Judge GH asks, Favorite id software game aside from Doom? Quake for single player, Quake 2 for its multiplayer mods. Seba1982 asks, what are your favorite partial conversion and favorite total conversion for Doom? It could be for Doom 1 or 2 or Plutonia. Oof, this will be a very boring answer, but I don't have any. I don't play total conversions. Pika Boy asks, what do you think of Brutal Doom or modern Doom in general? 
Brutal Doom has some very satisfying looking weapons in gore, but I don't like playing it. Not interested in modding or mods for Doom. Rhetoric Crown asks, what do you think about the mod Brutal Doom and the Doom map designs? See previous answer. Doom map designs are pretty good, I like the abstractness it has. Off brand Justin Y asks, where do you see your channel in a year? In the same direction, small but stable linear growth in subscribers, playing viewer submitted levels and becoming known as that guy who will play your Doom levels. Cable Crow asks, what are your favorite Doom wads? Mm, to name a few, Hell Revealed 1 and 2, Speed of Doom, Scythe, Back to Saturn X. Potitos Recycle Bin asks, how excited are you for Doom Eternal? I'm very hyped. I hope they announce a release date soon so I can quadruple my excitement. John Peep asks, would you kiss the Doom guy if you could? Yeah, I'd kiss his exposed abs. No homo. Beretta Boy asks, what are your thoughts on the Archfile being in the new Doom? It's pretty cool, but I'm not expecting it to behave just like in Doom 2. I have a feeling it will be a, a summoner reskin or an Archfile just like in Doom 3. So that's 150 questions down, only a few uh, more left to go, stay tuned for the final part.